Hey, what's up? So, during the last video, we asked OpenAI to write some sketches for the Arduino Uno, and uh, we got some fairly impressive results. But as I insisted during that video, those results would be the ones you could find from someone who's been using Arduino for uh, two or three or four months. So a medium user of Arduino. Now I want to increase the difficulty and start using ESP32. Like uh, most people, I consider uh, ESP32 the microchip that you would get once you've tired all of the Arduino examples. So we'll be trying mostly the Wi-Fi uh, libraries and the LoRa libraries, since I have some ESP32s with LoRa capabilities. So let's start with the first question for the AI. So I've just set up the ESP32 with uh, the simplest circuit, a uh, LED on pin 23, and I'm gonna ask the AI to write a sketch that is able to light this LED using a web server. So, write an Arduino sketch using ESP32 that lights a LED in pin 23 using a web page. Uh, I'll be using the Arduino framework, not the ESP framework, because I'm much more familiar with this framework. So let's see what the AI does. Alright, so it finished. Let's take a quick look at it. So it's using the library Wi-Fi.h, Wi-Fi client and web server. I've barely used this uh, Wi-Fi capabilities of the ESP32, so I have no idea if this will even compile. But it seems to be a good uh, code. So let's try uploading the code. I just wrote down my SSID and password for my personal Wi-Fi and let's see if it compiles OK. OK, so I just did some troubleshooting and it turns out that the uh, IP isn't this one. Uh, I just went into the router settings and saw that it's uh, 1.72 and if you write uh, LED on or LED off you can see how it turns either on or off. So, okay, first try. The, the AI just did it on the first try. Okay, so let's ask the same question with, different, uh, with a different prompt. Okay, so I'm going to ask basically the same question, but I worded it differently from before. So let's see how the AI does. Okay, so it just finished and now it's using diff different libraries and now I think it's using one less library and the code seems to be completely different although the main uh, pin mode and digital write are still there. So let me put my SSID and password and let's see how the AI has done. So, same IP address from before. And now we get a different web page. Cool. I love how different prompts get different results. Let me try with a, uh, asking the same question but with different words. Okay, so different AI session and now I'm asking to for the AI to write a sketch where I can toggle a LED in pin 23 via Wi-Fi in a predefined address. I'm not even telling it to use a ESP32. So let's see how the AI does when I don't tell it to use a ESP32.
Okay, so now it's only using the Wi-Fi.h library. It's, uh, it seems to be setting the local IP at 69 as I wanted. And I'll just uh, add my SSID and password and let's see if it works. So unfortunately, this one didn't compile. So it seems to be something wrong with this uh, instruction, but I've never used a Wi-Fi library, so no idea how to troubleshoot it. But anyways, two out of three of the Wi-Fi examples worked. So let me think of another example now using LoRa. So here I have my Helltech LoRa board. It has an OLED screen and a LoRa chip, which sends the signal through here. It also has an ESP32 here. And I just wrote this prompt for the AI to write an Arduino sketch for a Helltech LoRa that sends hello world through LoRa and displays the same on the OLED screen. I'm not sure that this is going to work because I remember that this a health tech board that had a specific library and it was uh, like a little bit different from the general Arduino libraries like the SSD 1306 and the LoRa library but anyways let's see Okay, so ChatGPT opted for using the general Arduino libraries like the LoRa and SSD 1306 and not the Helltech specific libraries. But as I said, I think the instructions are mostly the same. So I think this might work. Okay, so after a few minutes of troubleshooting, I don't get this to compile. It's uh, having some problem with the SSD library that it doesn't exist. But even if I add Adafruit under slash uh, SSD 1306, it's not compiling. So <clears throat> let's try another prompt. Okay, so I just thought that if the error is in this library, which doesn't exist, uh, I'm telling the AI to recompile this code with this uh, library, which is the one that everyone's using for the OLED screen. So let's see. Okay, so the AI glitched for a few uh, for a few tries, and I was getting this weird code but now it seems to have corrected the as i said the ssd library now it's using the display begin uh, instruction which i think is uh, perfect so let's try so even after uh, telling it to use the adafruit library and correcting the display begin uh, instruction is still failing uh, to send the information here on the serial monitor when you reset it says starting LoRa failed failed so uh, I think it's mostly because uh, this health tech is using a di different uh, LoRa and serial per peripheral interfaces than the one that it's using here and I'm sure that I could troubleshoot it, but then again, I want the AI to do everything. So uh, that's a fail for the AI. So let me take out another sample. So here I have a NFC reader for the Arduino. This is a reader which is able to read uh, NFC cards like this one. And I'll be very hard with the AI. I'll just use this prompt. Write an Arduino sketch that reads a NFC card. I'll not specify the chip or the pins that I'll be using. So let's see how it does.
so the code seems okay but I'm not using this PN32 uh, microchip I'm using the MFRC522 so I'll ask the AI to change the code accordingly So now it's using the MFRC library and let's see if it compiles. Everything compiled perfectly and uh, let me wire this up and see if it works. I just remember that I'm using the AI so I don't want to do any work. So I just ask the AI to give me a pinout for this. Mm, wow, so now it named all of the cell life select and reset and the, it even told me where GP, where the MOSI and SCK pins could be. So I just connected all of these cables as the AI suggested, but uh, still no luck. And I think that uh, it's missing a few pins. Like uh, you can see that MOSI and MISO aren't connected here, which are needed for the SPI library. So you just get a connection and a serial monitor that says scan a card the UID. So asking for ChatGPT to write code for the ESP32 has resulted in only two correct answers out of five. On the previous video with Arduino, it nailed all five questions. So, why did it fail so much compared to the first video? Well, on the first video, the questions that I asked were not only easier, but also you could find thousands of examples doing something similar on the internet. Now you ask me, but I have seen the AI write some very impressive Python code, and in Arduino, it barely goes over the main examples. Well, the AI has been trained on data from the internet, and I just did a quick Google search and I got for Arduino, 100 million results. For Python, 1.3 billion results. ESP32, 16 million. There isn't enough data to train an IA on embedded programming. I think with a STM32 using its STM framework, the AI would barely blink an LED because there are just so few examples on the internet. So that seems a good idea for my next video, trying ChatGPT and the STM32. Uh, I'll try to upload a video like that uh, within the next week or so, so please stay tuned and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.